In this video, I will be covering other types of poultry. The categories of poultry recognized by the USDA, again, are chicken, duck, goose, guinea, pigeon, and turkey. I have provided this picture for you to show you the relationship of the different sizes of poultry items. This picture also includes game birds. The first and largest is the turkey, followed by number two, the goose, number three, duck, guinea fowl, here's a mallard duck, a poussin, the quail, which is the smallest, a partridge, a squab, a pheasant. Number 11 here is a chicken, and number 12 is a larger duck. Let's talk about duck. There are three main types of duck, a broiler, roaster, or mature duck. A broiler or fryer duck is usually under eight weeks old and is around two to four pounds. A roaster duck then is under 16 weeks old and is four to six pounds. This is the majority of ducks we will find in our grocery stores. A mature duck then is over six months old and is four to 10 pounds. Duck contains only dark meat and it has a large amount of fat, actually given a rep for being a very fatty poultry item. Here you can see the large layer of fat that is on the top of the breast. When we are cooking the duck breast, it's important to score the fat just through the fat, not through the meat. When you're cooking the duck breast, as you'll see in a following video, it will allow all this fat to melt out and incorporate a lot of flavor into the duck breast. Here you have a picture of the duck liver called foie gras. This is actually cleaned and then sliced and could be sauteed. It is considered a delicacy and is extremely expensive. Goose then is broken into two classes. You have young and mature gooses. Young are under six months old and range in six to 12 pounds. Mature goose are over six months and range between 10 and 16 pounds on the average. Goose contains only dark meat and it is extremely fatty as well. Again, all of the fat is found in the abdominal cavity as well as under the skin. Goose is very popular at holidays and because of its strong flavor, it's served with acidic fruit-based sauces a lot of times cherry and other sauces that will offset that fattiness. Guinea is also broken into two classes. You have young, about six months old, three quarters to one and a half pounds on the average, and mature guinea that are up to 12 months old. They're one to two pounds on the average. They're actually a descendant of the game birds. They have both light and dark meat, and the meat is tender enough to saute, but it does have a good bit of flavor. It contains little flat fat and is usually barded prior to roasting because it is so lean. Pigeons. Small pigeons are called squabs. They are three to four weeks old and under one pound. Pigeons then are over four weeks old and are one to two pounds on the average. Pigeons only contain dark meat. And their meat is very tender, contains very little fat, and is well suited for broiling, sauteing, or roasting. Turkey then very common around the holidays, is broken into a couple classes. Your four to nine pound average turkeys are called your fryers or your roasters. They're under 16 weeks old. Your young turkeys are then five to seven months old, eight to 22 pounds on the average. The young as well as the yearling is what we'll find in most of our grocery stores. The yearling then are about 10 to 30 pounds average under 15 months old. The mature turkeys are over 15 months old, 10 to 30 pounds on the average. Turkey is the second most popular category of poultry in the United States, after chicken, of course. Turkey contains both light and dark meat, and it has a relatively small amount of fat in comparison to how large it is. However, turkey legs, turkey thighs, are not the same as chicken legs and chicken thighs. There are a lot more tendons. You can think of this in comparison to the shoulder cut of a cow. It is going to be very tough and have a lot of connective tissue going through it that needs to be slowly cooked. Ratites. Ratites are a family of flightless birds. Here at the top you can see the ostrich. 
That's in Africa. The emu comes from Australia, and the rhea lives in South America. With these family of flightless birds, there are a couple different cuts that we can use. Here I have a picture of a fan cut. The fan is taken and broken into small medallions served as steaks. All rat type meat is classified as red meat and is often prepared just like veal cooked medium rare. It is low in fat and calories. Game birds then include a pheasant, a quail, which is only four to five ounces in size, a partridge, that is about one pound, and a silky. Here I have included for you a picture of this white game bird. Here you can see the white feathers that are silk-like. That's where it gets its name. But underneath these white feathers, it's actually a completely blue bird. It's crazy. Even its tongue is blue. These are sold at the Asian market. I personally get them, the Asian mall off of 13th and Sycamore in Harrisburg. They come frozen, but heads up, the head is still attached. Inspection still applies to all of these poultry items where it is mandated by law that all poultry produced for human consumption must be inspected by the USDA. In purchasing these poultry items, you can get them fresh or frozen, just as we discussed with chicken. Most game birds will be available frozen and come as the whole bird. There are a few exceptions, such as quail. Quail you can purchase as just the legs or a boneless body with a pin in it. Duck you can purchase just the leg and thighs to confit yourself or as a method already confit. You could also just buy duck breasts instead of buying the entire whole duck. Portion control. Again, let's look at those duck breasts. Buying in six ounce duck breasts. Control your cost as well as provide consistency. These poultry items also come ground and prepared as convenience items. In storing poultry, again, it is important to make sure that you're taking the right steps. Poultry is a potentially hazardous food item and is highly perishable. It is particularly susceptible to contamination by the salmonella bacteria. Again, the two main poultry items are chicken and turkey in relation to salmonella. Yet all poultry items have the possibility of carrying them. You want to ensure to store your poultry items at 32 to 34 degrees. Again, especially with game birds, as you are thawing them, it is crucial that you thaw them under refrigeration and give them the time necessary. This concludes this video. Thank you.